na kama na wetu wapi kama na wetu President William Ruto and his team continue to face significant opposition from the very people who voted for him. During a recent development tour in Kericho County, accompanied by his deputy president, Rigathi Gashagwa, the atmosphere turned hostile when President Ruto introduced Kericho governor Dr. Eric Mutai to give a speech. Despite Kericho being part of Ruto's strongholds, the residents expressed clear opposition to Ruto's governor through heckling. Now, the crowd's hostility towards the governor prompted Mutai to threaten the hecklers, stating that he wouldn't tolerate being embarrassed in front of the president. <laughs> Hapa Belgut tuko na shida ya hapa market na mimi najua shida ya hapa na tunashukuru kwa ila ame hapa hivi na sisi kama county tumetengeneza hapa caprons na tutamalizia hiyo caprons wa excellence tunataka tuseme asante sana wagaso wagas wagas matiko wa watch au na dagaba kana au na dagaba kana lakini kimbi leo ngale kama endeleo ako magwe exei let amagwe exei robas matika kana kana na tiana this is not the first time that the president and his team experienced hostility from their residents. Earlier on, Ruto had cautioned against heckling leaders at his rallies. But it seems his warning fell on deaf ears. Asante sana governor wetu. Aya, nyinyi wangwana. Tulizeni maneno, tulizeni maneno. Saa hizi ni saa ya kazi. Atutaki saa hizi kupigana vita. Tunataka kufanya kazi. Sina maana hiyo? Nyinyi wananchi wa Meru. Si nyinyi ndio mtatusaiisha. Mjumbe afanye kazi yake. Senator afanye yake. Mama county afanye yake. Governor afanye yake. Mimi na rikinji tufanya yetu. Sinyini ndiyo mutabitisha mutiani. Mutu wakizembea kazi ini sinahenda nyumbani. Ba, sasa hakuna haja kwa rakisha mutu. Nyini relax. Sinamuna hiyo. Kila mutu wafanya kazi buwana. Ama na magani. Mi nataka ni wawulizo watu wa meru. Siyasa atutaki ya vita. Tunataka siyasa ya maendeleo. Atutaki siyasa ya ugomvi. Tunataka siyasa ya kuunganisha. Atutaki kutenganisha watu meru hii. Na mimi nataka ni wambie Bijana nataka munisikie Nataka munisikize Hatutaki fujo Na elewana Fujo ni ya watu wa kitendawili Fujo ni ya watu wa azimio Mikutano yao ndio yuko fujo Sisi ni watu wa amani na kazi Ama na mnagani Tuna elewana watu wa eh, mekendori As Kenyans aren't hesitant to voice their displeasure in front of him now, following the incident in Kericho County, President Ruto condemned the hecklers and encouraged them to exercise restraint, emphasizing the power of the ballot in holding non-performing leaders accountable during the next general elections in 2027. <laughs> Hii pombe imetuletea asara kubwa. Wengi wa wale wanaangamia barabarani ni kwa sababu ya ulevi. Vijana mamilioni wamewacha familia zao kwa sababu ya madawa na mambo ya ulevi. Na ndio tumesema kila mahali ambapo pombe inatengenezwa haramu tutavunga na tutaharibu hiyo mahali. Na wale ambao wanahusika na kuuza hii pombe inaua watu. 
mtu akikufa kwa sababu umemuuzia pombe mbaya tunakuja tunauliza tunauza mali yako twende tu uh, fadhili wale familia ya wale ambao wamekufa we cannot continue like this as a nation tumekubaliana na tunawauliza askari wetu wa polisi tunawapenda sana na tunataka polisi wafanye kazi mzuri tafadhali polisi tumesema hauwezi kuwa ni polisi unachunga wananchi na unawauzia pombe hiyo haiwezekani Eda ufanye kazi ya kuuza pombe tupambane na wewe ama ufanye kazi ya polisi. Ama ama ni namna gani jameni? Mfanye kazi yote ya serikali tupangane namna hiyo. The root of the widespread opposition against the governor remains elusive. However, diving into online sources, we find contentious issues involving Dr. Mutai. He faced a lawsuit for allegedly appointing an unelected individual to fulfill gubernatorial responsibilities during his absence. This appointment, made for a duration of 10 days, drew scrutiny and led to a petition filed against Dr. Mutai at the High Court. The petition accused him of sidelining his deputy engineer Frederick Kim Gantich Kirui by appointing Miss Rosemary Sirop to oversee county executive duties from April 23rd to May 3rd, 2023. In September of the previous year, that is in 2023, Dr. Mutai once again found himself in trouble after he was opposed by the Kipsigis elders. Now they lodged a complaint with the County Assembly of Kericho alleging that Dr. Mutai had ratified a deal with Brown's Investment PLC based in Sri Lanka without consulting them. Now the petition dated May 15th and endorsed by Paul Langat, chairman of the Kipsigis Community Clans Association, accused the governor of betraying the community's trust. This incident exposes how the governor has been having a hard time with those who voted for him in Kericho. It appears that the opposition stems from various scandals during his tenure. Now, Kenyans are known for their outspokenness and they will praise good performance but won't hesitate to voice their displeasure when they feel deceived, as evidenced by the backlash against Dr. Mutai and probably the cause of all this opposition at Kericho County might be because the governor Kunavila Mecheza Chafu and the residents aren't happy with him. Eh, Kali. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts in our comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's meet next time. Bye-bye.